that's my volume. Hi, hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> the microphone picks it up and uh, it just... It, it, it's as if I was doing the thing. Because the closed captions appear, but it's not like I was doing the thing, because you can't hear me. Hello everyone, I'm Prefavity. Welcome to a new episode of Final Fantasy XIV Online. Uh, today, I am coming back to Final Fantasy XIV Online. We're doing Post Heavensward. We're starting po Post Heavensward. We finished the main campaign, the first part of the story in Heavensward, uh, last time. Uh, and it was great. It was awesome. I had a lot of fun. So today uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna start doing some things in order to, uh, you know, just just keep progressing, just keep progressing. Um, in this, in this time, I started. I'm starting out with a Paladin quest for level 56. Uh, I I'm still leveling up Paladin. Didn't really do much this week in terms of leveling up. I did come from 54 to 56, and that's basically it. Uh, but I didn't do the quest beforehand, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. We're starting off with this quest, and uh, afterwards we're going over to the main quests, uh, main scenario quests, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, advancing a little bit of the story, it's going to be a shorter stream, probably like two hours long, uh, and that's basically what it's going to be. It's it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun, it's definitely going to be uh, something. That's what it's going to be, it's going to be something. Um... <laughs> Search the surrounding area. Here we go. Mysterious box. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I have not really been paying attention to this mission specifically. I had already started it. Uh, these are starting in Falcon's Nest for some reason. Uh, the first one started outside of, Tha uh, of Ulda in Thanalan. And then afterwards, I had to start them from Falcon's Nest. Uh, so the first one, level 50, had to be in Thanalan. Uh, and then 52 and 54 were in Falcon's Nest. And right now, we're just investigating something here uh, at Camp's, Camp Riversmead uh, in Kurthus Western Highlands. Well, Western Highlands. Back to the place. All right. So, uh, yeah, haven't really been doing a lot of playing Final Fantasy XIV uh, during the week. Not, it's not that like, I've abandoned it completely, it's just I haven't really been playing all that much. Uh, so far, this is my equipment, I actually could be doing better. Good. Um, <laughs> that's that. Paladin registered. Um, okay, cool. And yeah, today it's just gonna be all about progress, so... Uh, hopefully unlocking one or maybe two level 60 uh, dungeons. Depending on how fast the quests go by. I mean, remember that the quest lines for all this still are pretty, pretty long, considering. So, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't put it past them to actually, like, be taking a lot of time. Hey, Constant. Anyways, um, this is it. To be honest, I never really understood why you accepted me as your pupil. What made you change your mind? What did you see in me and what? What did you have... What would you have me do now that you're gone? So it is true then. Hi there. Little Genlins. Papa Sean could not conceal the truth from me forever. Ah, he told me of Sol Solksagel's claims in your search. Uh, this is the guy that gave us quests beforehand. I could not believe it. I would not believe it. Yet now. Shut up, Genlins! You okay? Everything okay? Oh, hi! Is this a brief glimpse of the echo? Or is it something else? Oh, my soul crystal! It's resonating with you. Jianlin's. That's why it's called Hey Soul Crystal? Hey, soul sister, hey, soul crystal. You know, that's the reference. Very timely game, very, very timely. <laughs> An ad is coming in three, two, I'm sorry. An ad is coming. Um, for the people that are not sobbed, I'm really, really sorry about that. What sorcery is this? The type of sorcery that happens. 
when someone is watching and we have resonated with each other. I know we're being watched, but by whom? Oh, the mysteries will await in the next quest. <laughs> All right. Um, I've been I've been struggling a little bit to find time to play everything that I'm wanting to play. I've been playing Spider Man Two. Um, I'm recording that for YouTube, so if you haven't done so, go over to YouTube and subscribe to that channel. And if you're watching from YouTube, why are you waiting to come over here and follow me on Twitch too? Um, and yeah, it just generally speaking, uh, I've also been playing Final Fantasy 16 on my free time because I've been doing the arcade mode version of the levels that I've completed so far. Cool. Barrier of Sorbs. That is nice. The souls of Paladin's past grant you favor. Divine Veil. Alright, uh, I should set that differently, I think. I don't really use low blow all that much, so I think I'm gonna change that. Um, I mean, I use it when I have no other things to use. But I think just as easily could be on the same place as the uh, shield attack, because it's basically the same thing. Uh, I'll use this, uh, and arm's length, I'd rather use this can go up here, because that's where I have my stance on warrior as well. I think this makes sense. Alright, so, um, I'm done with the Paladin quest. I'm about to level, go to level 57, but I'm really not that keen on just staying uh, on there, so I'm gonna switch over to Machinist. Uh, level 60, Rise of the Machinists. Uh, because we've already cleared the regular campaign of, uh, uh, of Heaven's Ward. We can get access to the next, uh, to the next part of the quests for Machinist, Warrior, and Ninja. Uh, and Black Mage. Wait, is Black Mage level 60? I think so. Nope, level 59. So, you know... Another one that I could technically just level up. Uh, in due time. So... Yeah, okay. An Uncertain Future is at the mansion. And so we shall go to the mansion and foundation. Here we go. So that took us less than 10 minutes. That's a-okay. Uh, I was doing my quests before today just in order to level up Latin and stuff. Just, I was at the very beginning of level 56 uh, today in the morning. So did progress quite nicely and just... Uh, here we go. Just the fact that I am still like... Wait, what is... What are you? Gods of Eld? Hello? Are you a trial? Or are you a dungeon? It has a message for me from a mysterious stranger. Oh, my lord Gulan, during your absence a stranger came calling. Upon learning that you were away, he left a message to the effect that he wishes to speak with you and will await you at the Rising Stones. If you have a mind to oblige a stranger, please be careful. I cannot well explain why, but it put me ill at ease to simply be near him. Await in the solar of the Rising Stones. Well, we'll be doing that, but not now. What we're going to do now is continue on with the story. Talking to Alfino now and getting an uncertain future. And food, apparently. Hot chocolate, creme brulee, almond cream croissant, or urchin loaf. My pick. Thank you for inviting me, Alfino. Fortuitous timing is always, Gulen. Tataru was about to brief me on the search of our missing comrades. If you, go if you would be so kind, then. Absolutely. You'll be pleased to hear that Ryo and his men have been making excellent progress. You remember how Falamin helped me to escape the Crystal Braves and them Salominsa, only to then disappear? Well, according to Ryo, she crept aboard a ship round, uh, round, bound, bound, bound for Radzatan, where she's been hiding ever since. He assures me that it won't be long before we're reunited. As for Ida and Papalimo, the remains of their Link Pearls have been found. And in Perlane of all places, Ryo thinks they must have disposed of them after escaping from the royal promenade. Yes, that would make sense. They could not risk being eavesdropped upon by our betrayers. We're all but certain they fled the city shortly after, though we still don't have a clue where they went. 
I see. And what of Thancred and, and Minfilia? I'm afraid I have nothing to sh new to share about those two, but it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is, we've enlisted the services of Charlian Scholar, one of the students of Baldician, to aid in the search, who should be arriving any day now. One of the students, you say? I should very much like to meet this scholar, if time permits. But first, must attend to a more pressing matter. Sir Aymeric has summoned the two of us for a private audience. The messenger did not, specif did not specify what he wished to discuss, only that it was urgent. Assuming you have no objections, Gulen, I suggest we proceed to the congregation forthwith. And mayhap we can meet with the scholar afterwards. Agreed? Agreed. In that case, I think I'll return to the forgotten night for now. Things are liable to fall apart if I'm gone too long, you know? <laughs> I'm sure they would be falling down. Thank you, Tataru. Back to the pillars. Alrighty. This seems like it's gonna be a few very informative... Um, what should I call them? It's not cutscenes per se, but scenes. Generally speaking, just scenes. It's gonna be very informative scenes. Uh, hi, hello, how are you, Temple Night Guard? I am here to speak with the Lord Commander. And now... Hello, Sir Emmerich. How are you doing? I have arrived. Thank you for coming. I wish to speak with you both in a place where privacy was assured. Glad to make your acquaintance once I quite more. Understand. What was it that you wished to discuss? I'm still not used to the bo the voice. I still make it weird. With my father's passing, the seat of the Archbishop lies vacant. And so, in accordance with canon law, I have assumed his responsibilities. Hmm. I should stress that this is a temporary measure. Right. It was never intended that the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights serve in this capacity indefinitely. Quite the opposite. The statutes specify that I should surrender my powers as soon as a conclave of the senior clergy and the high houses have named a new archbishop. Mm. But in light of recent events, that would not seem appropriate. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I confess I did not expect you to divulge quite so much quite so soon. The details of the Archbishop's plans, perhaps, but the true origin of the war and all it entails? I, too, had concerns. But when the Warrior of Light is witnessed returning to the capital upon the back of a dragon, one's options are rather limited. <laughs> Mayhap I could have concealed certain details, but for how long? And at what risk? Should the truth have come to light in the meantime, how would the people have viewed my silence? Yeah, well. After a thousand years of lies and secrecy, I could not well abuse their trust and hope to be believed. The time for deception has passed. I completely agree, and I really respect that decision. I only wish the people agreed. That some would deny the truth I had anticipated, but not this many. Huh. And among the few who acknowledged that my father had to be stopped, no small number questioned our methods. Yeah, I mean, we kind of teamed up with the dragon. If they suspect a coup, it will not be long before some turn to violence. Which is definitely not something we want. It has already begun, and that on both sides. What? Men and women of the cloth are being harassed in the streets. Some have even been assaulted in the broom. Uh-oh. Hilda and her people have formed a watch to help us maintain order. That's good. But such measures will not prevent the unrest from spreading. I understand it, but... For all our talk of peace, the people remain frightened and confused. For their sake, we must bring the Dragon Song War to a definitive end. So you mean we have to stop Needhog? And we should be glad to help you, Sir Emmerich. But what precisely would you have us do? Stop Needhog. I believe that I'm gonna level up Lancer just to be a Dragoon. We wish to treat with the Dragons of Annex Trine. To that end, I would trouble you for an escort and an introduction. Oh, okay. Annex Trine? You would speak with Vidofnir then? Vidofnir? We must needs open a dialogue between our peoples. Right. Acting as my representative, Lucia will extend an invitation to their leader, 
that she might visit us here in Ishgard. Oh. Were she still with us, I would of course have beseeched Isel's assistance in this matter. Of course, but... But as she is not, I must ask that you aid us in her stead. Hmm. Will you do us this favor? Of course. It only feels right. <laughs> I was the one to arrive while mounted on a dragon, after all. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. You're welcome, Sir Amark. Lucia, I leave the rest to you. Good. In the wake of the Archbishop's fall, the nation of Ishgard trembled. The faith of her people shaken to its very core. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm reading a text. For a thousand text. years that they fought and died, certain of the justice of their cause, only to be told that their holy war was born of the sins of their forefathers. What then for those brave men and women, thus stripped of their righteousness but to despair? To deny the truth and decry its speakers. And what then for those whom they defamed but to hope on? To have faith in a brighter tomorrow? A tomorrow in which man and dragon might live together in harmony, then as distant as the very stars in the heavens. While we dared to hope, deep within his lair, the enemy lay, gathering his strength. Nidhogg, now possessed of his two eyes and the body of the Azure Dragoon. Prizes to which he had laid claim at the very hour of the hero's triumph. Mm. <laughs> which sucks, honestly. It really does. Desperately as we sought the solace of peace, the great worm craved the misery of war. Nor was he alone in his misbegotten desire. Alrighty then. So that was that. Lucia? I know little of the lands these dragons call home, this annexed shrine. Had you not agreed to escort me, the coming journey would seem a far more daunting pros prospect. I confess, I myself once shuddered at the thought of it. Yet even the longest journey begins with the first step, does it not? Ah, but ere we set forth, Gulen and I must needs inform our comrade of our plans. Very well, I shall see to my pre pre preparation. Sorry, I cannot read. Then let us go and bid farewell to Tataru, Gulen. And Stola as well, I would think. Right? Is Stola not gonna be here? Bang. Tataru! Got something to say to you. I'm leaving. So, what was your secret meeting all about? I'm all ears. A diplomatic mission to annex Trine, you say? Well, I suppose that does take precedence. But should your meeting with Vidofnir happen to end early, you might consider rendezvousing with Jostola in Idleshire. She'll be there to receive our guest. Don't get me wrong, your meeting with the dragons is terribly important and everything, but this scholar just happens to be... <clears throat> time permitting, as I said. We shall endeavour to join Jostola, but if we cannot, pray pass on our regards. Let us be off, Gulen. We have kept the first commander waiting long enough. Alright, let's finish this quest. We'll finish the other added one, which I think, because of its nature, will just literally unlock either a trial or a dungeon. Which more than fine with me. We'll see ya. You are ready then? Good. So am I. 
I will want an almond green croissant. Sorry, it was Alfino that I had to talk to. Breaking the cycle. I was ready to escort Lucia to Annex Shrine. The path is long, but unknown to us. From Falcon's Nest, we shall cross the Western Highlands and make for Tailfeather in the Dravanian Forelands. There we can stop to rest and replenish our supplies. Questions? If not, then the stables await. Off to the stables, still here, I would suppose. Uh, outside Tailfeather. Okay. So I can just go to the Rising Stones and Mordona then. To, uh, sorry, excuse you. Sorry. Gotcha, gotcha. There's even more quests around. Uh, oh, hello, Lozong. Not easy being green. Good day to you, my wayfair friend. Say you wouldn't happen to be the man who slew the Tonberg King, would you? I did. I knew it, by the onion. I have a fine gent for you looking for you, that is. We, uh, he has an appetizing proposal on the table, and I think you should pay him a visit. He's one of the treasure hunters in Capron's Lake. And we here, of course, will be... And he will, of course, be there with his partner. The two are inseparable, but I'll let them tell you more themselves. Well, off to Lanosa with you. And Lorian, for keep's sake. A wayfarer like yourself must be privy to all manner of tales, yes? So tell me, what do you know of the adventurers who purged the cultists from the ruins of Andapur Keep? That was it, that was I. With friends. What? It was you who did the deed. Then you are just a person I have been seeking. There's a man I would have you lend an ear to, a hero known as Addiston. He dwells in Camp Chanko from where he served as the Twelveswood. Of late, he has sensed dark steerings in Amdapur Keep, and would speak with one who has braved the ruins already. But I shall put no more words in Brother Addison's mouth. Pray attend him in the South Shroud. If you give him my name as proof of your intent, he will not withhold a single detail of what he has observed. Alright, thanks for that. And Alice? Thornton's Reign. Okay, let's unlock a hard version. Greetings, Gullen. Yonbon has been gazing forlornly at the door for days, awaiting your return to the Seventh Heaven. Pray be so kind as to indulge a suffering fool and favor him with one of your epic tales. It seems this inspiration has drawn dry once more, and only a draft of your most excellent adventure vintage will slake his creative thirst. Alright, Wandering Minstrel. This is the new one because it's the final boss of Heaven's Word. It was it was fun to do, honestly. Uh, the frozen tundra you braved, and into the vault of the heavens you ascended, to a sacred peak, both temple and tomb, to a ruined city, reborn and resettled, to a citadel of the ages you ventured, parting the misty veil of millennia. The journey made by you and your companions has made its mark upon the stars, and I would hear the tale in its entirety. Your words have worked a miracle upon my melancholy heart. New verses arise unbidden, and threaten still to spill from my lips. My harp. I must have my harp. Alright, minstrel. Give me the minstrel's ballad. The song of water swam in man some thousand years ago began. When mortals grasped for godly might the faming name of king and knight. In Asa's love for woe or weal, in holy will, mid righteous steel, and thence was high divinity, compelled by light to bend the knee. Only two verses. What say you? Have I captured the spirit of your triumph? Pray forgive any small liberties I may have taken with the details. One cannot evoke the power, the proper picture of your glory without a certain measure of embellishment. Quest complete, and the Minstrel's Ballad, what's its name? Thornton's Reign, now accessible. Okay, okay. Got another uh, ultimate quest in our midst. Technically not ready to do that one, but 
well, we unlocked it, so it's fine. It's not like the other one in which I actually have to do the, the quest, the, the trial first in order to unlock things. So that at the very least is good. That at the very least is good. We're entering the solar. Hello? 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 And wait at the solar. So I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. <laughs> My thanks for coming. Hello? Who are you? Unukalai is my name, and I serve a friend. I sought you out that I might alert you to the rising threat of the beings known as Icons. You are aware of the threat, you say? <laughs> but I speak not of the primals, with which you are exceedingly well acquainted. It may interest you to know that the term Icon and the beings to which it refers precede the Guardian Empire by eras. You see, it is the name by which the Allegans called godlike beings, the dark divinity Odin among them, and the Guardians who seek to emulate the glory of ancient Alag have simply availed themselves to it. Pray permit to continue the tale. Marion J. You serve him? Ah, Orange, how kind of you to join us. Ask the Warrior of Lights, comrade. My participation is but to be expected. After all, the matter doth pertain to the very fate of this star. The icons of Eld, in the distant past, these mighty beings did offer fierce resistance to the Alagan Empire. However, they eventually fell to the men of Alag, who devised the means by which to capture them. And it did not end with capture. As you well know, for the Alagans also learn how to harness the Icon's power. They refined this knowledge at the Aether Chemical Research Facility on Asis La, and within the centrifugal crystal engine, they sealed three of the beings, the Warring Triad. It was first and foremost to acquire the infinite power of the Warring Triad that the Archbishop did seek Asis La. But in the wake of his defeat, the bindings which confine the Icons were severely damaged, Doubt not, but they will fail completely ere long. Know that we do not condemn you for striking down the Archbishop. You are simply fulfilling your destiny. And yet, were the warring triad to be released into the world, unimaginable destruction would ensue. Take heart, for there is si hope still. Though swift action we may through swift action we may yet prevent their awakening and see them resealed. But in dealing with this new threat, our first step must be to contend with the old. Two savage gods are returned, I fear, summoned once more by their worshippers, and at strength far surpassing their previous incarnations. I speak of the primals Ravana and Bismarck. If left unchecked, they will inevitably seek to seize the power of the warring triad. This will serve to feed the confluence of chaos and hasten the icon's awakening. To wit, we must needs vanquish both their kinds. I pray thee, however, to first focus thy gaze upon the primals, ere we turn our attention to those icons and their fitful slumber. I shall return to the waking sands forthwith, and consider such measures as are available to us. Meanwhile, I bid thee attend to the task of eliminating the primals. Young Unukalhai Unukal shall assist thee. Rest assured he is not our enemy, for the time being at least. Okay. Quest complete, the gods of Eld. I am thinking that this is another parallel quest line that I need to do in order to progress with the story, so. The Diabolical Bismarck. If we are to prevent the awakening of the Warring Triad, then Bismarck must be cast down once more. I am aware of the rather unorthodox method you employed to lure out and slay the White Whale before and had a mind to follow established precedent. That said, islands are not easy to come by. I should hope it is not necessary, but you may as well show this gemstone to Chief Sonu. He will know it as the weeping eye of the Manuk Manai, and it will ensure that he is completely committed to our cause. Oh, and before you ask, I have already informed Master Garland of our plans. He is currently en route to the Blue Window. Alright, thank you for returning there. The Warring Triad, this is just... Okay, and you still have one more quest for me, the Thok Around the Clock. As you prepare yourself for battle, so too those Ravana. 
Within Thoka's Thok, he builds his strength, feeding upon the prayers of his innumerable children. But those same children will not suffer you to live should you surrender yourself to them a second time. Nay, you must devise a new way of approaching the Lord of the Hive's domain. Consult with the storyteller, the Elder of the Bath, and he will aid in this interval. Take this bauble. Tis known among the Nath as the burning eye of Urbana. When the time comes, you will know what to do. Thank you, Unukai. New characters and new things to do. Alrighty. So... Mm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm still gonna have to do any which one, so... Uh, we're starting with, with the Weeping Eye of the Manuk Ma Manukanai. Uh, so that I can look for quest lines, or look for duties while I'm trying to do main, the main story. I think that's the most convenient thing. Sonuvano. The, the Tramontan returns, and with it, the white. So too comes the great Netherling warrior. Whipping eye. Like double rainbows in the mist, Sonu knows not what to make of this. An eye in the hands of a Netherling. Storm clouds of the Vundu are no match for the eye's might. Smash it against the Aetherite in the whale's crown, and he will be vulnerable once more. Bind him with chains of steel and drive him from Cloud Sea. Return Sephir winds and sunlight to our lands. Alright, and Son of Anu, reap what you sow. Uh, what are you going to give me in exchange? The wicked Vundu seek to hoard power and influence. Tonovano will be your guide. He awaits you outside the village. I am accepting more quests just because I have absolutely no clue of what this means. Like... One said right outside the village. This is all the way over there. On the other side of the map. I can just warp back and do the other one. Ya vine a desestresarme. Hola, Nat. Bienvenida. I am... Running around on my bird. Well, flying around on my... Oh my god, what is that? That's so cool! It's a rhino! Also, I've seen that there is a... Fall Guys event type of deal, and that people have been having the worst of lucks getting into the event for some reason. I really don't know why. I don't know if I actually want to know why, but... Okay, I see. I see where I have to land. I see it. This is fine. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to make of that. Because, uh, Duty Finder, if I go... Battle Hall, Invitation Parlor, Random, Sagoli, Coastal Soul, Tranquil, Random, Sagoli, Coastal Soul, Mahjong. Yeah, no, there's no... There's nothing. There's nothing there. I haven't really unlocked the the the, the, the event. Tonuvanu, you're my guy, just let me know. Oh, this is the, the Never Reap, now accessible, perfect. All right, duty finder has been updated with a new regular duty, so that is a new level 60 dungeon. Cool. Um, going back to the Sea of Clouds at Oxundu, we're gonna look for another thing. Uh, the other quest, rather, and we're gonna see which of the two uh, things goes in first, because this is all the way down here near the pillars. Wait, no, no, no. No, yeah, yeah, that's the one. It's near the pillars, why? I don't know why gonna make sense then. I don't know where to go. This is confusing. Level 60 though, as we are going to this place is gonna be so much fun. You just know that. Master Garland. Hey, Sid. Ready to go? Ah, the hell's with it. Maybe it'll bring us good luck. I'll rendezvous with you there. Okay, and that is attuned to the Aetherite at the Whale's Crown. Which is all the way over here. Gosh darn it. I really hate that the two spots to warp in this place are in the same side. Like it's Clam Clou uh, Camp Cloudtop and Oxundu. So it literally only saves you time vertically. Does not save you any time horizontally to warp to either of these. It makes 
no sense at all whatsoever just to have the warp going one way or the other. Honestly speaking, it's a little bit annoying, not gonna lie, it, it is a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. So we're going still. We're still coming, we're still going, we're gonna do the thing that we do. Best and ever, best and better and better and best than anyone else in the world. Which is destroy primals because we're on the we're the only one in this world to do that. And do 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 do. I thought you were reading the song. <laughs> nope. It all comes from up here, from my brain. Be it smooth or be it uh, shrinkled, non-smooth. I think it's smooth right now. Wundu Aetherite attuning, and this should actually just give me access. After a pause, you smash the gemstone against the Aetherite, nothing much happens. Out of habit, you attune with the Aetherite, and once more, nothing much happens. The Limitless Blue Extreme now accessible, perfect. So, basically, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, Duty Finder, thanks. Instead of selecting a single one, uh, these are not rails, these are trials. So... Alright, so items have to be average level 165, so wire has to be the one, um, because my item level is way bigger. So the Limitless Blue is going to be the one uh, on this one, and on Dungeons, it's going to be Never Reap. Uh, so those are the two duties I'm going to select. I'm hoping that I find one soon-ish. Um, and we're gonna try to find the other ones throughout the entire thing. Alrighty then. Uh, and then the other thing... Where are we going? Outside of Tail... Uh, tail Feather. Right. Um, let's go, let's do it now! Let's, r let's rush, let's jump! Let's give it a go! That said, outside of Tail Feather... Oh, Lothastvad is the other one. I Maybe I should have waited. Probably. Um, but also, where in the heck? Uh, it does say... Oh, maybe because I, I got too many quests. Hello. Um, I don't want your quest. I want your your quest, Vath Stolit, the storyteller. Tell me the story. Another path to our goat's domain? Yes, yes, there is but one way. You must seek out the giant hive on the far side of the colony and attune your spirit to the Aetherite's corn within. But the deed is not possible. We hear that crystal is warded by ancient ritual magics. The one mine have woven the seals such that only the most worthy of warriors shall be granted leave to enter Thokastok, and they do not share with the non-mine what they consider worthy. Cool, thanks. Basically all that I wanted from you. Leaving now, ta-ta! Earth Sprite. Let's go! Let's go! Look at that thing, it just moved a lot. It really does not make any sense at all. It makes me wonder what the... Oh, it's... Nope, this is talk around the clock. I'm wondering if it was actually outside of Tail Feather or if it was still inside of Tail Feather for some reason. So it's not this specifically. The thing that I'm thinking about is on the other. Um, in Dr the Dravania Hinterlands, not the Forelands. Uh, I'm thinking of the giant robot that apparently was a primal and we got a teaser for beforehand. It's so weird that there's a primal in that shape uh, and, and form. You don't see me. Not the entrance, but the attuning part. Alright, or attune to the other right in the giant hive. Oh, it's right here. Nathic Aetherite. Thank you, it's because it's way smaller than the other one. Like I said, my brain is smooth today. Smash!
Thought Cast Thought Extreme, now accessible, which I'm not trying for at the moment, but I will at some point. And now we just leave. <laughs> there we go. And now back to regular programming. So over to Tail Feather again. Flying all around. Was ist das? That is called an Aetherite. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about responding in German, but then I thought I really don't know how to <laughs> explain all of it in German. Um, so I'm just going to respond in English. Uh, that is an Aetherite that is basically... Um, how, how would I explain it? It's a crystal that has the energy of the world in it. Uh, and, well... What it does, uh, we can attune to it, and attuning means that here you are, Alfano. Thank goodness. Lucia. I always imagined that the first time I set foot upon Dravanian soil would be at the head of an army, and here I am, ready to treat with the brothers and sisters of mine enemies. Full well do I know how difficult it can be to set aside the past. Though it was I who first proposed recruiting Isel to our cause, I questioned the wisdom of my words almost as soon as I had uttered them, and for a long time after that. Here was a woman with the blood of innocence and her hands. Men, women, children, all slain in the name of the implacable Lady Iceheart. Yet she acknowledged her misdeeds and agreed to join us in common cause. At our side, she fought in service to that greater good, even unto her dying breath. And while that does not absolve her of her sins, I, I hope that one day she will be remembered not merely as a heretic, but as some misguided soul who dreamt of peace. You ask much, Master Alfino. Yet, oh, that was Alfino? I'm sorry. You ask much, Master Alfino. Yet who can say what might come to pass, should our negotiations bear fruit? Yes. Yes, of course. We must press on to the Annex Shrine, if you will follow me. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly to wherever you are, man. I'm, I'm not... I don't think... I really don't think that this is like the best way to do things honestly but you know whatever um i could also have gone to speak with addison camp tranquil i mean i i just picked up way too many quests basically and that's why i can't see the main quest so oh excuse you we literally just go to annex shrine Thank you. I'm just gonna warp there. <laughs> That's fine. I really don't care about the, like the, the journey all the way over there. I'm fine just going. Spend the gill, move around. There's gonna be plenty more quests to do as well. It bothers me not, but still it's something to take into account. Now where is the exit? This has always been a confusing thing for me. So... Where, where are you guys? Um, okay, this is not going to work out for me so long as I have this this way. So, journal. Um, okay, so these are the extreme things. I'm also going to keep them low for now. Uh, and what we're going to do is... Not easy being green. We're going to... No, no, no. Okay, this is fine. Current. Here we go. This is the one that I want to prioritize. Thank you. Speak with Bedofnir in the next shrine. Okay, so we're just directly going to Bedofnir. Good. That's the thing. I don't know what the task entails. So I need guidance. Bedofnir. Bedofnir. Wait, Bedofnir is not down here? No, Bidovnir should be then high above. Or, nope. Yeah, I mean, it was high above where we were, but not as high enough that I couldn't see them at the moment. Hi, Bidovnir, how are ya? Thou art ever welcome here, friend of Israel. But this one, I do not know. Well, the small one you've met before. Pray, forgive us this unannounced visit, Bidovne. May I present to you Lucia, first commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, and our trusted friend. It is an honor to meet you, Bidovne. 
I am come as an envoy of Sir Amric, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and acting leader of the Holy See. Indeed, you may speak, Knight. For one thousand years, man and dragon have been locked in an endless cycle of bloodshed and sorrow. To our shame, we long believed your kin to be the architects of this war, but now we know the truth, that King Thordon and his knights twelve did willfully betray and murder the great worm Ratatoska, shattering the peace between our peoples. For, our th for one thousand years, our leaders conspired to conceal this truth, a truth which was at last laid bare by the warrior of light, the Asur Dragoon, and his sail. Alas, a deception so intricately wrought cannot be undone in a moment, and our people labor to accept the truth. After an eternity of war, who would dare to dream that peace could at last be within our grasp? Yet dream we must, as Isaiah once did, and we must make that dream a reality, as she could not. We humbly beseech you, Bidofnir, join hands with us in friendship once more, before the eyes of my people, in Ishgard. A most unexpected invitation. I have heard your request, Knight. However, I cannot yet give you mine answer. May I ask why? This matter concerneth my sire. He must needs be consulted. Moreover, the Nath grow bold, even as they did before, and I would not leave my people at the mercy of the swarm. Then we will wait. After a thousand years at war, we shall not give up on peace for want of patience. Ha! Huh. Fear not, knight. Thou shalt give... Sorry. Thou shalt have mine answer within thy lifetime. So soon, my humble thanks. I shall bear your words to my lord forthwith, until we meet again. Alright, I mean, I understand completely, Bidofnir. It makes sense that you want to think about it. If we can help at any point, or calm the hive down, that would be great too. Given the circumstances, I, I would say that went rather well. To be frank, I am surprised our proposal was not rejected outright. Whether aught will come of it remains to be seen, however. Mayhap I should take this opportunity to speak with some of the other dragons. Uh, but you need not wait for me. The return journey holds no fears for me now. Well, if you have no further need of our services, we shall continue on to Charlayan. We hope to, sh uh, to welcome a scholar who has agreed to aid us in the search of our missing comrades. Then I pray your journey is as swift and uneventful as ours was, and thank you again for sparing the time to assist us, even when such grave matters remain unresolved. I can think of no greater martyr than a thousand-year war, one which our friends gave their lives to see ended. Suffice it to say, I would willingly make a thousand such journeys to ensure that their sacrifice was not in vain. Of that, I have no doubt, Master Afino. I only hope the fates will not hold you to your word. Yeah. Breaking the cycle is complete! Sorry, I, I needed the water. Alright, Alfino, so I take it we're going over. Another time, another place. We're going to Charlayan. So... It would seem we have time to greet this scholar after all. How delightful! I shall be interested to hear how she means to go about finding Minfilia and Thancred. I can only assume she is privy to some new investigative technique. In any event, our first order of business is to rendezvous with Justola and Edelsire. That went by quite fast, honestly, so... Um, I'm not really holding out hope for the tasks that I put on. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick to the main thing, and I'm going to have to ask Trust for help later on. Hello, Edelshire! Hello, Moisturous Bruiser? A striking opportunity. Your reputation precedes you. The wide-eyed look the strangers favor you with is any indication. Cool, I know you. You're one of them half my adventurers. What roams about picking fights with gods and ever bugger else? What, well, Matt? What, well, Matt? Love your work, but you're just one of them pack or ride crazy killers, am I right? Hell, as for all I know, might be they're the ones who do all the work while you're sharing the credit. Now, now, Keller, don't take it personally or nothing, but I've seen it before. When it's all blood and shot and explosions, it can be hard to tell if you're pulling your weight. That's why I've been training up in stone, Sky Z. Don't let the daft name fool you. 
It's a proper training ground where fighting folk like me and you can go to refine our killing powers. If you've ever, you've never been, go and look for the goodly, goodly fella out past the back bitch. He'll tell you the rest. You won't regret it. Okay. Is this a better way to level up? We can we can try that. We can try that. Slow flick. Slow fix. Disarmed. Uh, okay, this seems to do with the primal. Just looks looks like it. The accent makes everything better. <laughs> Skull! Is Oplander seeing it? Giant of iron rising from river. You stole it and sit leaf to learn more, but I'm not back yet. Greatest plight of gooby, gooby flock. Giant is too big. Can squash Edelshire flat. Where are Oplanders? Calm yourself, slow fix. I, well... Ha, ah, Gulen, tis well you are here, for our need is dire. A colossus of seaman steel has risen from the Thaliac. Yet it is no mere forgotten contrivance of charlatan. The, oh, hello! I'll, I'll come back to this. Never Reap is on their way. The resultant etheric disturbance confirms that it is a primal, and that it was summoned amidst the ruins left for the river to reclaim. Well... I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, Haya. Yeah, I hate, I hate when that happens, so... Haya! Welcome to Alabathia's Spine, Never Reap. Uh, would not have served any purposes to do that. Alrighty! Hey, Tonovana. Let's go! Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, the guy that has not completed this quest yet is me. So I'm gonna need your assistance, everyone. He did not mean to provoke, actually. Did not mean to provoke. Never eat one rock. It's confusing, honestly. All the lights and the whatnots. I should do well to do something with my um, gauge. Hello? Hello? And hello? I like the resource management part of the, of the gauges, to be honest. Hi, hello to you. Hi, hello to you. It's not like I'm looking for level up, uh, because these are level 60 dungeons. I know experience is going to be hard to come by anyways. So I'm not looking to level up my classes specifically. Uh, I would love for all the classes to be level leveled up regularly throughout... Um, throughout Bloodstorm. But, you know, there's stuff to do still, and we reach level 60 quite fast, so... Both of you come... ...out of there, so that we're not in harm's way. The Divine Sword is... Bang. Come on now. I'm trying my best to actually hit it. You know? So just hit it. I need to I need to buy a lot more stuff with uh with machinists so that my level my item level goes up drastically. Yeah, careful with those. My internet connection's not the best at the moment. Good, good gravy though. Nothing coming, nothing going. That's good D. Uh oh, took too long. Oh, hi. I did it again. I went up to sky. 
I'm crashing down and I got it hurt. Whoops, you know it's a shame that I got hit again. Uh oh. Yup. And a yup. <laughs> Come now. Come now. I want more health, actually. Thank you very much. I don't want to get thrown by a tornado again, so, uh, peeps should do well to stay away from little natos. Stay away from the natos. And again. And once more. Gotcha. Cloud Altar. Yes. Undergo it. Aether flows freely from the altar. Alright, you guys read? Two, go! Yep, okay. I'm gonna reduce the damage that you deal to me. And we already know this plot! Uh oh, excuse you. I may have made a mistake. Destroy the shadow! Careful with the feathers. I don't know the mechanics of a lot of these, so I'm I'm just gonna have to like learn on the go. Usually types of the types of things that I learned through um, for these I learned through Tross, who's already played a ton of this. Um, or by doing, and people just being like, okay, so if you don't do this, we're gonna wipe. I'm like, okay, that makes sense, thanks. Okay, once again, careful there. Where, okay, here's here's a shadow. Here's shadow! Not the hedgehog, though. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, not dropsy! Okay, there's a lot of feathers, though. There's a lot of feathers, though. There's a lot of feathers, though. We do not like the feathers, though. We don't like there being so many feathers, though. Okay, you guys, you guys doing good. You guys doing okay. Why? Stop with the feathers. Like for real, stop it. Now this is a strategy. Eh? Now this is a story all about how. I'm killing the bird right upside down. Well, everyone else defeats the feathers, I'm sitting here and I'm just trying to obtain four elegant tomb tomb of po poetics. Okay, you do that. Thanks. Let's -a go! Arrive the god who whispers, and we did it. Arrive the wind that summons, and we would do it. Hello, Lansolivundu. And Wundu Bright Totem. Hi! You are an interesting piece of thing. Not a big thing, but an, a piece of thing, you know? Okay, you, my good man. Okay, and the other Bright... and the Bright Totem. Both, both. Uh, I need everyone to look at me! It's not like I want the attention, generally speaking, it's just like, I have the defense, so why would you... Why would I let anyone else be attacked? Also, I, I'm i the one with the aggro. I'm the one who gets attack. Gotcha. Adding more stuff to our loot. Uh, I'll decide later. For now... Divine Vespa. Oh, hello. That's that's Vespa. Generally speaking, all of this is Vespa. Okay, more health, please. Con la silla. <laughs> Hit him with a chair. And again. And again. And again and again and again and again and again and again with the other chair. Bang. Gotcha. Now, Grandfather Tramped. Where are the other two? Where are the Vespas that are attacking? Oh, they're inside the tree. Cool. Good to know. Arboreal Storm. I Again, I don't mean to provoke. 
I probably should get rid of that on this uh, on this hot bar. Put in another one. Give me 50, give me 60, then give me zero, and then give me 70. Limit break is up. All right. Say hello, Natsoi Vundu, and the Vundu Bride Totem. Times two. Now stop dealing all that much damage to me. You know it's not it's not gonna work on me, so why even bother? You know, it's just it's just what I've always said to my enemies. Don't even bother because I'm gonna beat you completely. Did I enter beforehand? I feel like I entered beforehand. I mean, my health certainly feels like I entered beforehand. <laughs> Let's go. You're done. All right, let's arrive, let's arrive at the new god. Let's arrive, let's arrive, that new, new god. It's kind of Vanu. It's kind of Vanu, new. It's kind of Vanu. It's kind of Vanu, new. Gotta find the kind of Vanu here. He's a big, big bird. Vanu, Vanu. One, two, nice. Move totems out of circles when they show up. Okay, totems out of circles. Gotcha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need stuff. Thank you for letting me know the mechanics. Yes, the totem served to life. Okay, so... Interacting with this thing. Uh, how do I shut web? Okay, yeah, l l let it go. Just... Get it out of the circle, and that's good. I thought uh, they were going to be enemies, and I was going to have to do something to them, but apparently not. It's, it's just a matter of picking them up and putting them out of the circle, so... Great. Wolfgang. I mean, home gang. Get the other one! Get the other one! Oof, barely. Crap. Kanuvanu! You and your totems are gone from my face, I would hope. Bam. Done. Goody goody doody doody doody. That's six elegant tombstones of poetics. I am not even getting a lot of tombstones, huh? Uh, all right. So all classes for a higher level. I'll need this. Uh, Valerian's Fusilius Shoker. I'll pass on this. I'll gladly greet this. And uh, that's a lot of things. Need. Let's greed and let's pass in that order. Divine Wasps. I am here to make quick work of you. Also of you three. That's plenty of enemies. That's that's more than enough. Oh crap. That was not part of the plan. I misused my berserk. I misused my Berserk! And you know what that means? It means that I wasted one powerful attack! Bang and bang at a bang. Is that... that was it, right? Yeah, okay. Divine Dommel. And bada bing, bada boom. Can we... Okay, why are you whistling? That's creepy. Animals don't whistle regularly. So please stop. It's giving me the creeps. It's giving me the creeps. It's gi 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 giving, gi gi giving the creeps. Bam. 
back and down. Those are good attacks. Alrighty. Are there going to be more enemies appearing out of nowhere right around here? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And there's four of them, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't do the thing before. I'm kind of, kind of glad. Heavy swing. Bang. Storm's eye. Come now. I'll just get more health in the next room. That's fine, right? I hope that it is. Uh oh. Hakulak! Alrighty, we are here. The cloud, the laughs. This doesn't seem like a final boss type of deal because there's still two things to do. Oh, hi! Who are you? You look like a tiny leviathan. My eyes. Um, yeah, so... Mapping the realm? Never reap. You are mine. I don't know if there will be a mechanic to this fight, or if it's literally just fight the, p the peep. Fight the peep. All damage you deal to me will be down to you. I am a mirror, and I reflect myself upon you. Divine Mist. Uh, can you guys handle that? Or, yeah, okay, you guys can handle that. Cool. Kill, kill, kill! Perfect! Alright, crap. That was basically, uh, that's not what I planned. Okay. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Used arm's length just in time, actually. It literally was the just in time type of deal. Come now. Stop on! I see that tornado. Come on, almost done. One. Careful. We're at a hundred, and I'm almost back to good territory, so. Um, uh oh. Gee, freaking whiz. I got things. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, freaking again. Okay, that's that. And Divine Gale over there. Ah, well, crap. Well, I'm gonna be pushed, so. Careful there, peeps. If anyone wants to use the limit break now, that will be fine. Thanks. 30 elegant tomes of po uh, of poetics. How awesome is that? Cheers. It has been done. Do it complete and we're getting out. Alrighty then. So, um... Loot... Baldur Grim Grimoire, so I don't need that. And Valyrian Terror Knight's Trousers. I can greet this. Um, and Ferna at Dragoon gets my player commendation. Thank you very much, and continue out. We can finally end that. Enter Never Reap, and uh, that's one of the things that I can complete. I can just mark this finished. Now, coming back to the uh, <laughs> cutscene that we were watching beforehand... Uh, hello, Nishtola. We're on our way to meet you, but... For a mercy, it stopped dead no sooner than it had broken the water's surface. But so long as it remains in our realm, it may spring to life again at any moment. 
Yes, yes, but what does Uplander find near Idleshire? This wilderness still heavy with ether. Nay, the ether grows perilously thin, and more swiftly than I could have imagined. The primal is bleeding the land dry. Should it be suffered to continue, this entire region will become a barren waste in a matter of moons. No! Gobby Flock has only just found home after long wanderings. Idilshire will not fall. Slowfix will not allow it. And nor will we. I have already spoken with Orfino, and he concurs that we Scions of the Seventh Dawn must do all in our power to eliminate the threat. Yet given its size, I deem it wise to attack from two fronts. Our first and most obvious recourse is to keep our foe in check with blade and magic, much as we have done with uh, other such adversaries. Second, I propose that we attempt to cut off the flow of ether which sustains it, mayhap by physically separating the primal from the land. If we are to be rid of the Colossus, I think the latter course more promising, and mean to enlist Master Matoya's aid in pursuing it, yet such things take time. Thus, I have asked Master Garland to remain here and keep watch over our foe, given its apparently mechanical nature. His expertise should prove invaluable to you. To you, I say, for I would leave the fate of Idleshire in your hands. Should the primal chance to stir air my return, you are to join Sid in repelling it. An unenviable task, but one for which you are singularly qualified. Sure thing. Thank you, Justola. Rest assured, I do not mean to linger with Master Matoya any longer than necessary. The moment we find a solution, I shall make haste to rejoin you here. Well then, let us be about our duties. I will leave you to discuss strategies with Sid. Pshko! Back Riggs is keeper of knowing so for Edelshire. Can't say where Sid has gone. A blunder should start with Back Riggs. And a bag drop too. Please and thank you. My bag actually hurts quite a bit. Um. Alrighty then. So we got our work cut out for us apparently. Not that. Stola here. Ah, Gulen. Tis good to see you. I confess. I had assumed your business in Annex Trine would detain you longer. Did your meeting with Vidofnia go well? As well as can be expected, she must discuss her Amrik's proposal with Heisfelska, of course, but she seemed amenable to the suggestion. What of our Charlotte young guest? Has she arrived yet? She has, but when I explained that you would be joining us, she asked if she might use the intervening time to explore. I agreed to meet her outside in front bridge. We should be on our way. All right then. Uh -huh. Getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. Destination: Front Bridge instead of Back Bridge. Something I've been doing a lot of is watching One Piece. I've been doing this for the past two, almost three months now. Uh, I'm already at the Wano Kingdom. Uh, so I'm in episode 941, I believe. Um, yeah, it's it's been a great. No, actually, I'm in 950. Yeah, I'm I'm around 950 something. Uh, it has been great, honestly. I really enjoy it, and the animation increased in quality quite a bit. I'm terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. It's quite okay. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Indeed. Pray, allow me to introduce Kral, who has recently come from the Charlie and Motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Very generous of you, Kral. Oh, please, think nothing of it. A trip to Eorzea was long overdue. Oh. You must be the Warrior of Light. Pleasure to meet you. Yes, you certainly do look the part. Thanks. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, sir. Would it have been different if I was just a Lalafel? And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levinger himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill or two in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? Uh, how about both? <laughs> we, um... <clears throat> Miss Kryle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. It was no small task keeping <laughs> him out of trouble, believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studio, him and his sister, eleven-year-old prodigies. Yes, of course, they are quite smart. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. 
Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? <laughs> Thank you, Kryle. <laughs> Look at his face. For what? I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? Of course not. Um. <clears throat> Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion when <laughs> pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Yeah, of course. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. <laughs> So we're meeting our friends masters right. now. On to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing scions. Indeed. I gather you have new information to share with us. A new approach, actually. Oh. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Huh. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, yeah. I am confident I can find and follow it. Okay. Then what are you waiting for? Uh-oh. The wherewithal to do it. The fact is my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand... Oh. Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best that you explain your plan to her in person. Indeed. Interesting, interesting. Good. Shall we then? We have more quests to look at here. <laughs> Alrighty then. There's a couple of things to do here, first and foremost. We have one quest to finish right here. And reap what you sow... No. The a striking opportunity. I believe that this will be another one of those uh, extreme quests, right? Oh no! This is the, this is the one that I thought is, was going to be for leveling up. Right. You the good sir. You look like you enjoy bathing in the blood of your enemies. Have you perchance heard about Stone Sky Sea? You see, as part of an initiative to reduce the number of disputes, the adventurous guild has been forced to arbitrate between members who accuse their comrades of not contributing su sufficiently to... <clears throat> Let me try again. He who fights with strength of stone and yielding, breathes deep of boundless sky and embraces serenity of rolling sea. Against him, none can stand. Sorry, that's what the Doman fe uh, fellow told me to say. I don't quite understand it myself, but he seemed to think it was all very clever. Right, so, in essence, we've got these ridiculous contraptions that you attack in whatever manner you deem fit. It is supposedly tailored to the strength of some legendary beast or being some Matman decided to challenge once upon a time. Speaking of which, I believe one should be dropping in right about now. Hello, machines? Dravania, Stone Sky Sea. Really like this. Really, 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 really do. Hello? Oh. Would you look at that? It actually is a machine, and it just came down. Hi. I see you. Well, shall we? Apparently, the first time they dropped one of those was an accident. Sorry. The trainees loved it so much they started doing it all the time, though. Right, so... Each is tailored to the strength of a legendary fiend. The idea being that if you can defeat the dummy, you can defeat the fiend. In principle, it is. Dummies don't hit back, after all. But who, gi who gives a fig about any of that, eh? I nearly forgot the best part. It's free! Quest complete, and as such, I have unlocked Stone Sky Z. Goody, goody. You now have access to Stone Sky Z. The strain ground can be accessed by speaking with a goodly adventurer outside of Edelshire. 
Alright then. Fight. Stone Sky Sea level 60. Basic training. He who fights with strength of stone and yielding uh, time limit 3 minutes. Party solo class, any disciple of war or magic, exclu excluding limited job. The Limitless Blue Extreme and the Minstrel's Ballad, Thordon Strain. And this is just level 60. Embrace the Esoterics. Uh, item will be synced upon entry, 160. Well synced, all item stats are adjusted. And this one is A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna do the basic training then. Let's, let's try it out. I just want to know what it is. I just want to know what this is. Alrighty then. So, striking dummy. Um... I am thinking that this is literally just deal damage to the thing. Oh, but within three minutes. So... It's do it within the time limit, and if you are able to do so, then you're good to go. Basically, that type of deal. Have another 30 seconds to do so. Fully resisted. It is way smaller than I thought it would be, to be perfectly honest with you. Defeat the striking dummy, yay! Well, yeah, apparently 30, 35 seconds is all I need in order to get back to the Berserk stage, so this is fine by me. Once, twice, and be dealt with. Defeated. Duty complete. Alrighty then. And that's that, so return, yes. And that was it? That was basically it! Okay, so if I go fight and go level 60, this basically is just for level 60 dungeons. Level sync 160. If I do the Limitless Blue Extreme, then I have 3 minutes at level 60 with uh, anything to defeat this thing. And so is the same with uh, Thornton, Thornton's reign. Yeah, it's just defeat the striking dummy and see how much damage you can deal. I thought I thought it was actually going to be training, training, but apparently it's not exactly training, training. Or at least not the training that I'm thinking of when I say training. So yeah, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but at the same time. It's okay. It's a it's a nice feature that is there just to make sure that you are strong enough to actually deal enough damage to the thing. I guess. Bactrix is keeper of knowings and data. What does a blender wish to learn about? Ah, a blender comes in search of Sid, yes. Hmm. My thanks for sharing your knowings, Bactrix. These Illuminati are indeed most hostile. Hostile. Ah, golden old friend. You haven't seen the Stola, have you? I did. She told me to come to you. Drained of all ether in a manner of mere moons. Seven hells. How much power does that thing need? Too much, plainly. Well, it sounds as if we have an urgent dismantling job on our hands. From what Bactrix has been telling me, the Illuminati are the most likely culprits. They have the knowledge to summon a primal, and the requisite short-sightedness not to think better of it. Fanatical captures the philosophy, uh, philosophy nicely, I think. The goal being nothing less than sole ownership of all the world's technology. Needless to say, they're more than willing to kill anyone who stands between them and what they want. Quite how they managed to coax a primal into the hulk of a charlatan defense mechanism, I don't know. 
Oh, quite how they managed to coax a primal into the hulk of a charlatan defense mechanism, I don't know. But it looks like they've made themselves a tidy little fortress inside the Colossus. We'll need to contend with them if we're to disable the thing. As for the task itself, by simply destroying whatever serves as its engine, we should do the trick. Assuming it is, in fact, mechanical. But for all that, we'll need to find a way in through yet another bloody barrier. Skull barrier is not new. It rose up three years ago after Round made shivery shakes. Rain was freed from Riverbed then. Round Rocks was there, so with own two eyes. Round Rocks? Sorry, who was... Daughter of Slowfix, Round Rocks loves junk more than all other gobbies, was collecting then and is playing now. Look! Skull, shiny, young, and sparkly rocks, speedy bops, and wheelie cogs! I'm sorry for interrupting, Brown Hawks, uh, but I need to ask you a question. When the ground shook three years ago, did something come gobbing, uh, bobbing up to the river's surface? Bobbing? Nothing bobbed, silly uplander. Ground made shivery shakes when Giant of Whirlycock stood, and then magic walls came up too. So it wasn't the tremor that freed the Colossus. It was a Colossus which caused the tremor. And you are absolutely certain you saw it rise from the waters, young one. Mm -hmm. Seven L's. I think someone tried and failed to summon it three years ago. But was it the Illuminati or... Skull. Brayflox comes to trade tongue flaps of blunder. Ah, just a goblin. Slowfix tells me you're his resident expert on the Illuminati. Pardon me for a moment while I consult with my fellow uplander. Gulen, if I make a suggestion... I'll speak with Brayflox and learn that I what I can of our opponents. In the meantime, could you investigate the Colossus itself? Bix and Wedge are near where its hand landed on the shore of the Thalak. Join them and see if you can't find a way inside the machine. Oh, and good luck with that barrier. Okie doke, thanks. Thanks a bunch. We'll always keep it in mind that you were helpful in this endeavor. Alrighty then, um, next up, this is still higher up, the Trevanian Forelands has other quests to do and this is way south, so this is still first on the way, I know I ha I'm not looking for another uh, duty right now, it's fine, hey Biggs. Gulen, come to see the Colossus, hey? The Chief has us looking for a way in. Cause there's a bleeding bear around the thing. Aye, another one. Luckily for us, when the big fella came down, its hand clamped onto the shore here, punching a hole in its defenses, and leaving that round portal there unprotected. Only trouble is, it's locked and doesn't seem to have a key. For want of a better idea, Wedge is listening to the Illuminati Link Pearl communications. In hopes they'll mention the trick to opening it. Dee da dee da dee dee. Huh. There's only one signal coming from inside the giant, and it's always the same pattern. I'm certain it's a code. The Illuminati always use coded messages. From what I hear, they've developed this special kind of crystal specifically for transmuting Link Pearl waveforms. If we could get our hands on one, the Chief's decoding machine here should theoretically be able to use it to untangle the meaning. Quite where we'd find such a crystal is another matter. Score the sublander and all round rocks. She makes great collection of junk and things. Maybe he's keeping Crystal a shortstop. Wouldn't that be a stroke of luck? And it just so happens I've been working on a means of identifying the crystal in question. Here, Gulen, take this 3G7001B. Sprinkle that power over this so called collection and look for anything that glimmers. It should contain the material we need. You may have to borrow one of Round Rox's threshers, but I'm sure she won't mind if you tell her it's for a good cause. I don't know if they're actually, like, she's young, you know, and she's not going to be super duper happy to do that. Man. Alright, in the meantime, I guess I can just do that. Um, take Never Reap off of here. Uh, come back to here and go to this one. Join. Just in case that we're not 
That was fast. That was actually fast, and I'm so grateful for that. There we go. Oh, sorry. Gonna have to use it again. We're progressing through quests. What can I say? Uh, it's important because in I, I don't want to be stuck in the end like I was with... Uh, like I was with um, A Realm Reborn. Sorry, cutscene. I activate the chat here just in case that anyone is typing anything, so... Here you are, big white. The big white whale of a sea of clouds. Hey! Alrighty then. A hundred... A bonus of a hundred elegant tombstones just because I am the first one. I am the only tank though. So... Get ready everyone, here it comes. Staggered. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Here comes nothing. Come now, come now, come now. There we go. That's good. Again. Staggered. The dragon killers are ready. You guys can pull it off. One, two. Here you come, Bismarck. Come now. Got him. Good. At any rate, I will still have you looking at me, Ulsanua. There we go, away from them. Just to me. Tanking like this, I know I can do. Oh, we have to keep the ad separate. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know how to the aggro one. Sorry, sorry. Solo tank, yeah, okay, gotcha, but how do I, how do I shot web? How do I shot web then? Uh, I'm gonna undo this for, for now. Just get the aggro from the other one, please. Crap, okay, I'm sorry. Guess it's a good point to write sorry then? First time. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Good, good strategy, man. Thanks. Like I said, extreme versions usually have their mechanics, and uh, usually Rod is the one that explains all this to me. So long as I can understand it, yeah, that then it's fine. I tried to tank traditionally, and that's what uh, that's what was our undoing. So so long as they as we can like just keep one away from the other, everything should be fine. Uh, that's basically all. Number 
one, number two, and number three. Alrighty then. And done so. Yeah, it's done. Alright, so now one, two. Alright, I'll keep this one occupied on this side. Sorry. Come now. Go back to a hundred. One, two, three, go. I know that one was not all that powerful, that's fine, but it's, you know. Okay, they they got it. They got it on that one. Nice, yeah. Now now I knew how to, I knew what to do, sorry. I don't know why it keeps doing that sometimes. Are you Bismarck? Oh, there we go. Alrighty then. Are we ready to fire the cannons? Bring him over again? Time to finally destroy the Bismarck? Alrighty then. Okay, staggering. Okay, not great, not great. There we go, that one done. Seizes control of the clouds, which is technically not the greatest. Or I don't know what that means, at any rate. Vapor bubble. Okay, cool. I think we're done. Our integrity is now not exactly great. Um, cool. Spread. Thanks. Jesus. Memorizing all these things usually not the easiest. Let's go. Once and a twice and a three times should be good. We'll be done now. We'll be done now. We'll be done now. All right, done. Ahorita regreso. Okie doke. Oh wait, what? Oh, we didn't jump back. Sorry, that was unfortunate. Can. Someone use race? I don't think they can use race, actually. That was very unfortunate because they were left with two. Did they just jump down? I think they just jumped down. Alrighty, ready to start? <laughs> that was very unfortunate, honestly. Very, very freaking unfortunate. And... Okay, no, I still... <laughs> I guess I'll read that then. Yeah, exactly. We do... We'll... LB. Oh, the... Because we lost... Wait, does that mean that they disconnected? That's very unfortunate, honestly. Someone disconnected, yeah. It's a healer too. Wait, is it? Abit? No, it's a DPS. So we're definitely not gonna be able to just defeat him, but... Alrighty then. Okay. Quite unfortunate, but okay. 
this first one it's easy enough. Like it takes damage like nobody's business. It's it's fine. Like that's that's that. And then you come to me. Everyone else can handle the other one in the meantime. I'm just gonna keep this aggro. Go in a circle around this. <laughs> That's 50. I mean, so long as they're able to defeat it, it's fine. Uh oh. I think we're gonna die. Yeah, they weren't able to. Frig it a frick. The disconnect actually hurts us quite a bit. Please don't boat. We need to focus one down together. Yeah, everyone. Let me... Okay. Well, that's something. Alright, Bismarck, you can begin. Oh, well, shit. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Okay, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Hold. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Both dismissed. No. Okay, yeah, for him, yes. Yeah, he was away for an entire thing, so... Human 9. There we go. Light party. We're still gonna clear it, I think, but still. Okay, we got someone to fill in. That's gonna help us a little bit, I think. Triple summoner, let's go. <laughs> Alright, ready? <laughs> That's something else, man. Nope, I, I jumped a little bit too early. Okay, well then. You come with me. I mean, there's two tanks, for frick's sake. Blue, wind, green. Okay. Each one have a debuff. Water, attack. Blue, wind, green. Okay! That was better. Alrighty then. first. Yes. That's good. I'll just hold the other one. I'll kill blue first. Well, I think we're spread pretty thin again. I'm gonna try my best though. Close, but I don't think we're gonna make it, man. Okay. 
did it, did it, did it. Really good. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Mind you, we have 5% more HP and deal 5% more damage. <laughs> I've literally only done this on Synced. Oh, really? Never knew about the debuff. Okay. Okay, yeah, of course, staggered. Just defeat them, just defeat them, just defeat them now. Come now, that's one, that's two, and Lan Mai Bundu, done. Vapor bubbles, that was fast, cool. Now please stop that. Coolio, and Tally Ho. Sharp gust, cool. All right, everybody. Okay. Dragon killers are readied. Two. Gotcha. I need two attacks, then I do the combo, and then I come back. One. Two. Combo. One. Two. Three. Okay. And I mean, it's not like... It's not like super impossible to do, but now that that's done, yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. There we go. I wrote it properly and the game just didn't let me. Um, expands Patas, pass. Expands Baleen, need. Uh, expands Weapon Coffer, need. I'll just put that in. Uh, player recommendation. Honestly, uh, anyone? The, yeah, that's fine. Exercising the right is almost complete. Because I'm giving combinations. So, let's leave. I received player promo. Go oh, home! That's cool. That's cool. Alright, now as I was doing, um, use this thing. <laughs> Alright, so, Duty Finder, The Limitless Blue is done, now Thokka's Thok is another one that I want to do. Um, sure, why not? Let's do turn one of the Binding Cold of Bahamut, just in case that it's actually possible. I mean, we found a group for this, right? So, why not? Glowstone. I'm gonna ask you to borrow this. What is Oblander doing? Sneaky taker! Dresher belongs to Round Rocks. Oblander needs it. For Giant of Willycocks? Hmm, but Glowstone is most favorite as Dresher of Round Rocks. Ah, alright, but Oblander must promise to bring it back or Round Rocks is getting very angry. I'm thinking that you're gonna get really angry at me, but I'm gonna do my best to bring it back. Just so you know. I'm getting started in a plethora of things. Plethora, plethora. At any turn, we're gonna move it down. I have returned, Wedge. Here is the thing. Uh, the glowstone. Thank you. And you have my word that I'll give this back to Round Rocks when I've finished with it. Now, let's take a listen to what the Illuminati are really saying. Spying on the enemy. Goodness, all that infernal beeping is gone. Now it's a message clear as day. Let's see. Today's schedule for Gordius. Registration at 7th bell. Stop. Laos the curl cups at 3rd bell. Stop. Rest and recuperation at 2nd bell. Repeat. Today's schedule for Gordius. Curl lousing? But, but I'm sure that was the only message. This has to be some sort of jest. Don't be daft, Witch. It's just another code. You need the proper crystal and the proper knowledge to understand it. Huh. Bleeding Illuminati. Should have known it wouldn't be so easy. Hmm. 
quite the conundrum you have there. Why? But it's your lucky day. I'll crack the code, assuming we can come to a little arrangement. I'm a treasure hunter by trade, and there's a certain something I want inside the giant. I'll help you get inside, you'll help me get out with it. A fair deal, no? The name's Mide, by the way. Um, Chant, I'm sure. You are aware that the interior is almost certainly swarming with Illuminati, yes? Why do you think I came to you? There's strength in numbers, friend. Best we join forces, eh? Now, the words you intercept are largely gibberish, but paired with the numbers, well, you'll see, seven, stop, three, stop, two, wasn't it? You, the big one, see the pipes atop the hatch? There ought to be a valve up there with a hand wheel. Imagine it's a clock, and try turning it right to seven, left to three, and then back to two. It's just a lock. It's a regular crappy lock, a combination lock. Open sesame. <laughs> we did it, we did it. Hey, Sid. How's it? <laughs> Catching Sid up to speed and... So, the Illuminati have been announcing the way to enter the Colossus all along. Strange. Well done for cracking the code, anyway. I had less success, sadly. I'm afraid Braveflox knows little more than we do about the Illuminati's plan or the Primal. No. Come, come, things aren't as bad as all that. We found our way inside the machine. We'll just have to learn about it as we go. It's only a massive moment, after all. Stopping it should be as simple as destroying its core. If we send it in a suitably intrepid team of surveyors, I don't see why we can't trace the machine's power back to the source via the struts and piping. Hmm. Hmm. And I know just the man to lead the party. What say you, Gulen? <laughs> Leave it to me. And what of me, Pritel? I opened the way for this grand expedition of yours. Surely that's earned me a place in your little band to hunt for my treasure. You did as you promised, and you may do as you will now. But only so long as your treasure hunt doesn't endanger the mission. I joined you if I could, but there's something I need to see to first. I'll leave Biggs and Wedge here in case of emergencies. Good luck, my friend. Alrighty then. Thank you for the patronage. <laughs> In good conscience, we'll go with you. The Fist of the Father now accessible. Okay. You now have access to the Fist of the Father. Gordius can be accessed via the entrance in the ma Maker's Quarter. Is this... It's normal raids. It's a regular raid as well as a Realm Born. Not an alliance raid per, per chance, but... That's something that I'm going to add to this list. Alright then. So... As long as I can't actually access it, like, as, as long as I don't fan a party, uh, we're going to be waiting for a little bit. Hopefully, one of the three will come up before the end of today's stream, which is going to be in, like, about 20 minutes. I just want to I just want to do a couple more quests for the main story and I'm going to do the Oxundu one uh, to get rid of that on our list. Ha, 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 ha. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Sorry. Just rolling around at the speed of sound. Good places to go, got to follow my rainbow just comes comes to mind for some reason hello Kryle are we good to go that was the end of that and the beginning of this I have heard many stories of Master Matoya some quite flattering others less so rest assured they all are true this way and have care where you tread all right into it we go, the quest has been accepted. Into the cave entrance. 
Ba da pa pa inside the cave. And onto a cutscene. Cool. Hmm. Hey, Master Matoya. We have arrived once more, and with another person in tow. <sighs> Is that trouble I smell? Or did you forget to wipe your boots on the way in? Uh, nope, it is. Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. <laughs> Ever so quick-witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? <laughs> Don't be so hasty. Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Cryo, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? I always oh, thought yes. it was Baldessian. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Regrettably, our order's headquarters and the Isle itself were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Oh no. Croyle, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. What do you mean, of course? Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. Oh. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I would imagine. I had no idea. I had no idea either. You weren't supposed to. Why? Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand. But precautions had to be taken. Right. Yes, yes, that's all well and good. But you still haven't told me why you're here. Oh, sorry, Master Matoya. Um, we need your the eye. students of Baldessian are gone. And there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored. And my dear friend found. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, skip... I'm so sorry. I need to confirm this. It's not... Uh, come on, come on. Just allow me to do things. Commence. I couldn't do it. Like, I just... I could... I... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We are asking for the the crystal eye of... Ma the Master Matoya's crystal eye. So this is the fist of the father in Alexander. Aya. Megwid, Merle's Kusfern, Leviathan, gently pats Mac and Exodus. Got a Peloton. There's a lot on my screen, I can't see crap. I really cannot see crap. Come on now. That was way faster than what I expected, honestly. Bing bang! Bing bang? Hi. Oh crap. Okay. Well. Yeah. This is big brain time. It's big brain time. I don't know why they're not showing up. Or is it? Oh, it's because it's just audio. But I'm not seeing the registration. Shroom doll. Sorry, sorry. That's second, second storm doll appearing. Where's the, where's the other one? Okay. Who submitted things? Oh well, that was that was cute. That was fine. Hello? Cutscene? Cutscene then. Hi. Um. Hello? What is. Um. I see a mysterious eye in there. Oh. 
Oh wait, Cordius one. This is all of it. Well, that's pretty fast, actually. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more defense and to, for you to stop dealing damage. Also, all damage you deal is gonna be reflected back at you, so thank you for that. And here comes one, and a two, and a three. More than 3,000 per hit is awesome. That combo alone deals about 10,000 damage. Oh, whoops. Well, the bomb did nothing. And my bleeding stopped. Yeah. Let's -a go! Okay, I, I lost the aggro, which is fine. Really don't mind it. But what is that? Oppressor 0.5. Oh, hello. Come now. I will do both. The oppressor is the main one, right? Okay, Oppressor 0.5 is just the only one left. Um, so here goes nothing. Once and twice. That Okay, cool. Obtained 100 elegant tombstones of poetics. And that's the first section of Alexander. Good. So long as we can keep progressing through it, I believe that we're going to be able to finish this series of quests before we actually need it to, so... Goody, goody, good. Alrighty. Um, loot. There's plenty of loot. Tarnished Golden Lands. Um, yeah, I really don't care about this or this. Gordon Spring. I really, really don't think that I need any of this. I'll need one. I'll need one. I'll need one. I'll need one, just in case. But honestly, I really don't care. Exercising the right, and I'm leaving now. I got plenty of player accommodations, which is awesome. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. And so the first part of Alexander gives us... Expertly done, adventurer. Is this what you were looking for? Hmm. Well, what have we here? Um, hello? Scar? <laughs> Sorry, round rocks could not stay away. So many new treasures here. Treasures? Oh, you mean the odd bits and bobs. Well, little one, these mach machina are yours to take. And some of them are rather beautiful, I must admit. A blender can tell pretty machines from ugly, just like round rocks. <laughs> No harm in adding one more to our company, is there? I'll keep an eye on her. Alright, thank you. I'll trust you with it, then. Is this what you were searching for, though? Damn it. I was so sure. Skull? Our blanders are unwise to come. But most of all is Treasure Hunter. What she seeks is not here, not in all of Gordia's. Uh-oh. Well, isn't that unexpected? Hello? New machine? Um... Hi. Leader of the Illuminati, question mark? With a black cat on top! Oh, cutie pie! Thank you. 
as I live and breathe. Quick think, soul thoughts, master of the Illuminati. Quick think, soul thoughts. Quick thinks, all thoughts. Psh, oh, he's all backstrapped with boom dust. A blunder shoots, everybody kabooms. A blunder, here catches tongue flaps of master. Enigma codex for plants making is gone. Illuminati are already undertaking Alexander initiative. Oh, you dumbass. Score. Foolish Gobby! Secrets are kept silent! Tongue flaps never traded with outsiders! Has Quick Things not ordered so many times? <laughs> Master, forgive noise making of empty head! Gobby did not think! Please, Gobby will take any punishment, just not worst one! Now! At least you didn't shoot the cat. What? A blunder is shooting gobbies! And boom dust does not harm our blunders! Blood! A blunder blood for fallen gobby kin! Well, that was dumb of you guys. You didn't come close to me. I think now would be a good time to leave. Alright, let's let's do so. School or blunder? What is Enigma Codex? Dress you? Hmm. Perhaps. Yes, young one. My treasure. Alright, we made a run for it and we escaped. Good. Wouldn't this mean that we escaped inside of the barrier, though? That's what I would think. At any rate, Biggs, that was done. Bleeding elves face to face with the head of the Illuminati, eh? Shows you had quite an adventure. And this Alexander Initiative has got me wondering. Do you reckon it might be against the giant's name? No sign of the core though, eh? Well, we'll just have to look further in. I'll let the chief know anyway. He'll be happy to hear mine and round rocks are safe too. Those two haven't stopped talking about machines since they got back. I can't say I've ever thought of junk as pretty, but it to each their each to their own. Alright, that's that. Steel and steam, let's go for the second one. Ah, uh, Gulen, ready to have another go at finding the giant's core? Wedge, could you... Oi, Wedge, stop listening to that bloody Link Pearl. We barged through the Illuminati's front door. They know we've broken the code. But I've just this moment intercepted a new communication. If you'll give me a moment to... Uh, there, it says... Oh, death to Uplanders. Death to Uplanders. <clears throat> I think we may have started a war. Thanks. Alrighty then, the cup of the father now accessible. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, duty finder. So, we take the fist off and go to the cough. Alrighty then. We'll have to go speak with Alfinos outside Tailfeather. Well, we're leaving here for now, so... Over to Tailfeather it is. What can I say? Upwards and up, uh, upward and onward. Onwards and upwards is what it says. Sorry, confusion is me. Not Kral, I'll know. Were I to find myself in an unfamiliar wilderness, my first instinct would be to seek out signs of civilization. Ordinarily, perhaps, but in his wounded state, he may have, n he may not have wished to risk contact with strangers of unknown allegiance. Yet even had Tancred chosen to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across his trail. Telfather doesn't strike me as an isolated outpost, though. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, do they not? In which case, we'll need to provide a more detailed description when we question the locals. Fear not, Kral. I have already prepared several sketches of Tancred for that very purpose. So, we're gonna use the sketches? This... this is impressive! You drew him from memory. A skill I acquired some years ago for reasons I no longer remember. Okay. I propose we split into two pairs. Yishtola and I will inquire to, at the outlying encampments while Gulen and Kral question the residents of Tailfeather. Afterwards, we shall regroup near Loth Astvath and share our findings. Assuming there are no objections, let us be about it. 
I have no qualms, but it is pretty obvious that you do not want to spend any time with Kryl. My, he certainly has matured, hasn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy who practiced drawing for hours to impress young ladies. <laughs> you met him when he was 11. Anyway, we had best get started. Find me when you finish making your rounds. This is funny, man. I'm I'm so sorry that I had to skip the other one. This has been going on quite fast and I quite enjoy that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this paper and I'm gonna disappear now. Hey, uh... Boom, boom, boom. The music is cool, the music is boom. All three of you to me. Shall be a okay. My portrait didn't save. Oh, that's uncool. What is a portrait? Yeah, this is fine. Okay, you want us to go over there? Well, I think we're all fighting here, so I think we're all just gonna stay. Your ship doing me dirty? Who's your ship? Yo ship. Yo ship. Here it comes. Here it comes. I wonder if they'll make the better with uh, Down Trail. I don't know. Maybe? Hopefully. I mean, if they better everything and anything, I think it's just great. <laughs> I'm happy that I get to see some of the changes. Like, just getting to see any changes whatsoever is interesting to me. Learning about this game's story and all that has been super interesting to me, generally speaking, so... It sounds like a rhythmic voice. I don't even remember this fight. It's Heaven's Word. We'll be alright. Yeah. I know, right, lol. Vordius 2! Okay. I thought that the machines were actually gonna attack us for some reason. Be careful of bombs. Gotcha. Okay, so far so good. Got him. Gotta get another one. Okay, got him. Got you. And got you. Yikes. <laughs> I 
And turn the music up, fight. Oh, Magitek got Widow. G-I-X. There's two and bomb. Okay. I can do this. Where's the bomb? Oh, I see it. Cool. Got some Gordian soldiers over here and the Jack Dole. Come now. Oh, I see bomb. Gotcha. That's good. Okay, hello. <laughs> oh, I see. They're still bombarding us. Kind of. Got him. All right. I'm still just gonna try my best with all of this. Um, we're doing good. We're actually doing great. I'm not entirely sure of how well I'm doing specifically, but... Okay, so instead of a single boss, this is an enemy gauntlet, period. Come on now. I'm just gonna attack all of them. Yeah, okay. Jack Doll came to me. Another Jack Doll. And Gordon Hardome. There we go. That was it. That was extremely easy, dude. That was just a ton of enemies. I'll cast my lot in a sack, I guess. They dropped off a bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's big brain time. Again, I'll need and greed whatever. I'm just getting, I'm just getting the things, but they're in different slots. Take question mark. Play recommendation. Don't leave without me giving you a recommendation, man. You're the only one left. <laughs> All right then. Score! A blunder is amazing. A blunder is stronger than, than ten gobbies. Yeah, I'm definitely stronger than ten gobbies. Hi, Sid. Glad to see you here. Ah, <laughs> there you are, old friend. I was beginning to wonder if I'd ever find you. Biggs' account left something to be desired, so I thought it best to see the interior with my own eyes. Indeed. What do you think about it? Hmm. A treasure hunter through and through. Tell me what exactly do you hope to find here? Ever heard of the Enigma Codex? It's a book of ideas written some hundred years past. The life's work of one of the greatest technologists ever to draw breath. Within its pages are found myriad wonders, from designs for machina that could operate ceaselessly for centuries to novel ways of culturing cheese. Even a fragment of the book could bring a king's ransom. But most remarkable of all are the plans of for a walking citadel. It was to be a beacon of logic and reason for all the world. A walking citadel? Seven elves were standing in it, aren't we? The Illuminatis Primal took its form from that idea, but I sense that one none of this is news to you. You've read it, then. This Enigma Codex. The design catered for every needful thing. From warm beds to crops of grain, its occupants would never have to leave. 
and all in a fortress on feet, impenetrable and ready to move at a moment's notice. The citadel was meant to bear the most brilliant scholars and artificers of the age to all four corners of the world, that they might set about unraveling the mysteries of creation, and this utopia, this shining seat of erudition, was to be called Alexander. School! If Round Rocks lived in Walking Castle, Round Rocks could collect treasure from everywhere! Indeed you could, little one, and anything you found, be it junk, forgotten teachings, or lost secrets, would be yours for the taking. And what exactly would the Illuminati do with all of this knowledge? They would use it to take control, most likely, create a world ruled by a few chosen scholars, unless I'm mistaken, that's why the Illuminati exist. Bloody fanatics. Take a perfectly good idea and make it into an object of faith. What could possibly go wrong? I can well imagine how people who have spent decades carrying their homes on the backs might crave a home that could carry them. How such a place could seem like a utopia. But we're not talking about a machine here. We're talking about a primal. And primals will be the death of us all. I trust you'll be ready when things come to a head, Gulen. So, third one is the last one then? School! Utopia is happy place! Mm, where there is junk plenty, Round Rocks is happy. Where is very happy place of might? Wherever he is. Who are you speaking of, might? Might I ask? <laughs> might I ask? Alrighty. Let's finish this quest again. This Enigma Codex sounds amazing. A walking citadel is one thing, but a self-sustaining walking citadel? Genius! It's just a pity the Illuminati had to go and make a bleeding primal out of it. From what I understand, this Alexander was active for no more than a few seconds. That's seconds, and it night drained the hinterlands of Aether. Imagine what it'd do if it wandered the whole bleeding world. I don't think Round Rocks realizes how much danger we're in here. Too busy hunting for new treasures. Probably for the best, though, eh? Probably. Let's get on to the last one. Tinker Seeker sold your spy. Give it to me straight, Biggs. Am I gonna go in again? We've got ourselves a problem, Gulen, but not to worry. The Chief has a plan. Speaking of whom, Chief, over here! All present and correct, I say. Good. Something has been knocking at me for quite a while. Gulen, and I've finally realized what it is. It concerns the communications which intercepted. So, we know that the Illuminati have managed to establish a base inside the Colossus, meaning they must also have found a way to pierce the magic barrier. Assuming that's the case, what, ne what need have they to use the only the hatch which the barrier doesn't protect? And why go to the trouble of sending coded messages on how to unlock it? The answer? Spies. I believe the Illuminati have an agent outside the Colossus, most like in Edelshire itself, who is using the hatch as a back door. Now this agent will know we've broken their code, and that the hatch is constantly watched, so he won't have been able to use it for some time. As such, he'll doubtless be desperate to establish contact with the inside. And that's why I've cleared the area around the giant's hand. All we need to do now is watch and wait, and follow whoever makes a dash for the hatch. Chief, Link Pearl call from Red Bricks. He says, <gasps> he says Brave Fox went inside, but but she can't be. N no, it must be in, in, an impersonator. Chief, whomever you met earlier was a spy. Quick, you've got to go after her. So we're going for the impersonator and or Brave Fox. You're back. Welcome back, Nat. Off they go, off they go. Quest accepted, off we go. The arm of the father now accessible. Alright. Is it gonna be s like a lot of multiple ones? Like not only three, but actually multiple. Alright, let's go to Tailfeather now. Complete as much as we can on there, and uh, we'll keep on going. Last time I only had time to see a dialogue. Like, I only watched one dialogue and then it just went away. So, Lupard. Here we go. Just a sketch. 
if by the time that I'm completely done with this, um, I'm not able to find anyone for the party, I'm gonna finish the stream then and go to sleep because I have to work tomorrow and it's almost 11. I told uh, Pokemon Sleep that I would sleep at 11.30, so... Um, have you seen this man? Huh, can't say I know the face. You say he's something of a liar. I heard a tale the other day about a Hyrian vagabond who brought down a Bandersnatch by himself, and with Star. Way they tell it, he was dancing with a beast like it was the bell of the bleeding bowl. Sound like a mon? Not exactly, but yeah, could be. Alrighty then, uh, anything else? Anyone else? Anything one? Hello, Grimold. I actually have a little bit less hope for this one. Off in our sketch. I did spy this one bloke a while back. Didn't get a good look at face, but it could have been him. This was beyond the forest, as I recall, along the river to the west of Tailfeather. I remember thinking he wasn't much of a hunter. The lad was making no effort to cover his tracks, see? That, and he was carrying an axe instead of a bow. An axe? Um, hey, Kryle, are you done? Finished? In that case, I think we've learned everything we can here. Let's see what the others have found out. Alrighty then. Thok as Thok, Extreme, The Binding Coil of Bahamut, or Alexander the Arm of the Father. Any which one is fine, honestly. Let's wait for those guys to arrive. I forgot I have to summon High Wind again. My back. Ooh, that was good. I'm sorry. I it had to crack. Ooh, it cracked again. That's so good. My apologies for our, our apologies for a late arrival. We thought it wise to question as many hunters as we could. I I keep making it so similar to uh, Garland, to Sid. Many have made camp in an accessible location, ideal for hunting game, not so receiving visitors. Nevertheless, our time proved well spent. There have been countless sightings of an exceptionally capable human hunter with whom no one is familiar. Though none chance to see the man's face, his height and build match Thancred's description, as does his fighting prowess. Okay, give it a sec, give it a sec, give it a sec. So you have heard the same tales, be it as it may. Mayhap this is unrelated, but I heard a curious tale regarding the... He came to Telfair in search of garments fit for a mine of refinement, and... We'll, we'll have to have this conversation again afterwards. That's fine. I'm just gonna work back, then. Hey, that's Brave Vlogs, supposedly. That's the spy. <laughs> Let's a go. Not yet. Not yet. Let's a go. Now for real. This is Alexander. The arm of the father. Quite tall too. There we go. Hey uh Red to go. After this, I should have enough tome, uh, tomes to buy equipment. That's a ton. That's a ton of enemies. 
They're going down quite fast, but still quite a few. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine that it's low. Yeah, Pokemon sleep is telling me, remember that you have to sleep in like half an hour. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hello? Sure. This seems like a regular path. Let's literally just go the other way around, huh? Hello? Okay, spy alert, spy alert. Bring me whatever this... Hydro Man? Funny looking. Zubidi doop, zubidi dab. Mapping the round, Gordius 3. Are we all here? Alright. I guess we're all here. Except for Kotanati. Where's the other tank? That actually makes me wonder a little. That's water, which means that it pushes. So, gotta be careful with it. Living Liquid is its name. Quite funny, honestly. Go once, and twice, and a third time, please. That's good. Are you gonna try pushing or something? You didn't? Alright there, Living Liquid. I'm just gonna continue to tank this. Did Katanari bail on us? It just doesn't seem to be here whatsoever. I like the music quite a bit though. The music is really good. Oh god. I am electrified! Okay, there we go. Okay, thanks for that. Jeez, I'm killed now. Coolio, take one, take two, and take three. That's both living liquid. Oh, one is a living liquid and the other one is living liquid limb. A mí también me gustó la rola. Verdad está chida. Lunch resistance down. Eight? Holy crap, that is a lot. Okay, are you reforming? I think it's reforming. Yeah, combine their HPs. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. Gear lubricant. You're, you're out of here. You're a lubricant. So... Uh, are we literally just getting rid of these things? Well, sure. I'm just gonna get rid of these things then. Uh, goodbye to you, and to you, and to uh, that other one. Stun. Oh. Hello. Atrophy. Wait, what? Twitch? What are you saying? What are you saying? Someone? Okay. Someone Someone started the stream. Sorry. I, I panicked since the time that it told me like, Oh, hey, your stream is live! After an hour's stream. Piston Lubricant again. Man, you are so not okay to be here. Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now. Can someone help? Thanks. Are we done with this now? Can you come back? Yes. Coming back as a full-bodied and non-person person. Let's go, Liquid. Cascade! I really want this. 
and this. Two. And three. There we go. One resistance down, two. At least it's not eight. Sluice. Sluice. my debuffs a little bit more, but I think we're fine. This is about to end anyway. And here's the final hit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Liquid Man. Splash Man. Water Man. The Bob is closed. Electricity is gone, and water is no longer flooding the place. Such is the fate of us brave warriors. So I'm thinking that this is just going to be half of it, so uh, GG's. Okay. I'm gonna first give my player accommodation to you, the only person here, and once again, this is dumb, 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 dumb. I no longer have any space. Great. Leave. Kotanadi just disconnected, apparently. Didn't really matter much. We could do it with just one of us tanks, but still dumb, if you ask me. Continuing on with this side of the story though, that was just the arm. So I'm thinking that we're gonna go over to like the main body and then probably a head or the core, the actual core. Score, Gobi found it. Good. Knowing some missing peas are where uh, are with Illuminati. So King the Spy, Gobi did well indeed. Oh, cute little cat, though. This is how you treat those who please you. Score, now is realm in chaos. Broken, machine with too many parts. But Illuminati plan needs one thing. Missing peace to bring world order. Give world harmony. Make world perfect. And what of those who don't fit your vision of perfection? How many must die to pay for your utopia? Don't you see? You summon a guts damned primal. It will devour the aether of every land you visit until Hydaelyn and everything on it is dead. Inside Fortress of Illuminati, Josen will live on. If inferior and outside die for progress, so be it. This is cost of seeking for knowings. Hells take you on your damned seeking. Yeah, well... Why Soplanders find happiness in Illuminati rule? On why Soplanders, Utopia does not need. Ooh, your evil plot will only end in you actually destroying yourself. Sorry to say. So it's a way or die then. Oh, the whole concept is grotesque. No, Sid. Like the rest of the ideas set out in the Enigma Codex, Alexander is wonderful in itself. Perfect, even. But in the rush to realize its ideals, even the best of us can be led astray. Oh, so once upon a time, these Illuminati were starry-eyed philanthropists. Is that it? And it was only after they got their hands on your perfect bloody codex that they turned into vicious killers. Tell me, was there any passage in particular that convinced them to abandon their last shred of empathy? I cannot speak for the precise contents of the codex. Not anymore. But I haven't forgotten everything I read. I think I can stop the core, if it can get me close enough. You think you can, or you know you can. And what of its location? It's somewhere in the trunk. How close we are to that, I can't say. Skull? Brown rocks can say. 
two paces of round rocks are one yam. So, by count of round rocks, chest of Willycock giant is only a little far there. Ha, <laughs> clever girl. You've been measuring how far we've come from the start. Oh, she's happy to be praised. All right, I propose we withdraw for the time being. I don't know what will happen when we reach the core, but I do know that we'll be better equipped to deal with it if we're well rested and ready for anything. My neck. I'm sorry. A little bit sorry for the spy. Ah, oh, should be well enough. Hidden intentions again, or what? Well, might. A tarnished Gordon Crank. Oh, yeah. We have to act. If we don't, Alexander will awaken, and Illuminati will be unstoppable. Make no mistake, Gulen. It's now or never. Well. Let's see it, then. I think I have the knowledge required to shut down the giant school, but if I'm to reach it, I'll need you to lend me your strength. Well, really? The Illuminati's latest message is... It's... Well, let's just say it's unsuitable for polite company. I should be much obliged if you teach those privy-mouthed savages some manners, Gulen. Worst accepted, and as such, we should be able to get to the burden of the father. Now accessible. Thank you. Alrighty then. Um, I feel like this is a good place to stop, but I also feel like I didn't really do well. Um, stop chisel. No. Okay, first things first, I need to summon High Wind once more. Uh, second thing, I really need to put all of this in order. Like, for real, for real. Griffin card? Use it. I'm not entirely sure where I've been getting all these. The Morble card can just go. Expanse weapon cover, item level 175. Expanse token. Uh, and the rest are the things that I've been getting regularly here, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do something else. Oh, okay. Well then, Contra. Um. Yeah, here we go. Expand skein. Uh, yeah. Can I just place in the arm? Nope. Okay, well. This is unfortunate because my weapons are full again. No! Okay, let's check this. Uh, Gladiator and Pal Paladin level 49. We'll discard this. Um, Jamias, this is 41. Well, Titanium Pagionis, so we can discard these ones. Uh, augmented Shari Knives. The Steel Bardish is level 31, so I'm just going to discard that. The Titanium Max is level 54, I can discard it. And the Titanium Max high quality, yes. Um, Adamantite Bill is level 58, I'm gonna keep that one for now. 54, we can discard these. And this should have been enough for a little bit. It, it will be enough for a little bit, just for a bit. Um, and so this plays in the armor chest, thanks. With that, I have almost a full row available and back tricks it's um what's your book one? Oh, that's fine thank you um right and now back to warrior <laughs> and back to tail feather uh we're just gonna watch the cutscene that we were look watching before and then i'm gonna go um to a safe spot so that we can get more extra experience and that will be it for today just it for tonight, just it for tonight. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start leveling up as much as possible. Generally speaking, um, Lancer is the next one that I want to level up. I'll, of course, finish getting Paladin and Black Mage up to level 60, but still. I will start leveling up Lancer so that I can get Dragoon. Hmm. 
Right, 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 we are, we have seen this again. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, yish the la and off and no. The same story about the, the guy and the hunter. Well, if you recall, you have yourself emerged from the live stream as naked as your name day. It is a scene I shall never forget. Is it now? Well, I was pleased to see you. I, I mean, it was a simple statement of fact. It stands to reason that Thancred found himself in the same predicament. In any case, if he had dealings with the Vath, they should be able to tell us, no? Quite right, Kral. Quite right. Yeah, all for now, that was a really bad slip, man. That was a really, really bad slip. Alright, uh, once again, a little slow, a little late. Wait. Again? Well, what are we waiting for? For all we know, Thanker could be waiting for us in Lost in Lothastvath. We must go and see the bath right away. Come along, everyone. Come along. Well, we've had our fair share of dealings here, so I really doubt that he will be here. Come now. Is this a sanctuary? Because if it is, I'm, I'm just gonna... It is not. Okay, well... Almost. Almost. Let's begin the new one, and I'll, I'll go back then. Great hunters, we welcome you once more to Lord Osbath. What do you seek these day? We seek a man. A man with whom we are told you may have had certain dealings. A sketch. How curious! The hunters tire of godly sport and pursue mortal prey. No, no. He is not prey, but a friend long missing. Good, good. He is a friend to the path as well, one with whom we have traded many times. Truly, and you are quite certain it was this man. There is no doubt. The fleshling clothed in skins came to us from Somal, lost and weak. He offered me the hides in trade, and in exchange we tended his wounds. He brought us as much flesh, so skilled a hunter he was. Much flesh. When he asked for garments, we were glad to provide them. And where he, where is he now? Gone to Lothasknath, not long ago, when he heard that one mine had summoned our god once more. Ravana is returned. Bidofnir did say that Nath had grown as before, but what could Thancred hope to accomplish by himself? Ornod Elder, we thank you for your help. Would that we could repay this kindness ere we depart, but we must hasten to our comrade's side. Go, great hunters, lest the Nath claim him as sacrifice. I, I sometimes just don't decide beforehand on how the clicks are going to go, so... Sorry about that. But indeed, it could be like... Like... Just, just, I, I, I kind of feel like that's the kind of sound that would come out of their weirdly shaped mouths. Um, or it could just be, no, or just. Sonubanu, you have another one? No, I'm handing this over to you. Complete. And it's done. Alrighty then. Wait, in the duty find not the duty finder, in the journal. Gale Force Warning. That's not the one. The Diabolical Bismarck. Yes. At the Rising Stones. Because we did finish that one, so I'm I'm literally just going around collecting my rewards. Uh, before finishing off today's stream. So, um, in that note, and on that note, that is indeed going to be everything for today. Um, thank you so, so, so very much for coming and watching. And um, remember that I am very happy to have you here. So that's the first one out of two. We're going to have to get another one.
Oh, sorry. Entrance to the solar. Thank you. Here we go. Uno Kalai. We have defeated one of them. You needn't say a word. The etheric readings left no doubt. The Lord of the Mists is no more. For the time being, at last. At least. After all, such beings have a rather troublesome tendency to return. Let us turn our attention to the Lord of the Hive, who in quiet meditation awaits your coming. And that is the thing that we did. Alrighty then. So, that is that. Leave the solar now. Um, I will devote myself to my training then. Level up in between streams and whatnot, and just, uh, generally speaking, get jiggy with it. I'm gonna finish the storylines for Black Mage and Paladin up until level 60, and uh, I will meet you next time then. So, thank you so very much for coming. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for making it this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and come over to Twitch and follow me over here. You'll be able to talk with me live, uh, be entertained live, and also, if you play the game, play with me. Help me out. I really need it. I really need more people that want to do these quests with me. I would pretty, pretty, pretty much be the most grateful. I really would appreciate it. With that in mind, that's going to be everything. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good night.